Hello, everybody, and welcome to Raskow Memorial Gymnasium for tonight's game between Mountain, check that, St. Francis and Homestead High Schools. Very quickly here right now, the St. Francis Lancers, this is their last home game, and they are announcing their seniors. The first one to be announced and introduced to the crowd with her parents was Betsy Butterick. Betsy forgot to bring the flower for her, flowers for her parents, but we'll try to get a good shot for you, each one of the seniors, as they come up and enjoy their night. Their last regular season home game, Christine Kapuyan. Now being introduced with her parents. They will make the walk to the middle of the key and get a couple of quick photographs taken by that all-time favorite photographer Joe Schramm who's been here for years and years. Very nice tradition that a lot of schools do on the final home game for the seniors. Kerry Cosby being introduced. She remembers the flowers right off the bat. Flowers for her mom or dad, Doug Cosby. Many of you will remember played for the Dallas Cowboys back in the 1980s, late 70s, early 80s. Next senior being introduced is Meg Knutson. Her mother and father, Mr. and Mrs. Knutson. How did I figure that out? T-shirts that they had made up with senior on the front so they know exactly what year they are. Very nice job, Meg. Alyssa Sobolik being introduced now. <laughs> Alyssa's just happy to have her parents out there with her. So I don't want to be too friendly. Jamie Val. The last senior to be introduced. And that will do it for the senior introductions. I believe they'll get one more group picture with the uh, seniors and all the seniors, all the parents, all the coaches, and anyone else who might want to jump into the festivities. A nice looking group shot there. Very nice job by our camera crew. Some of the crowd as they wait anxiously for this contest, which should actually be a very, very good ball game as you saw in our graphics coming up, both teams with outstanding records and in a battle here in the Santa Clara Valley Athletic Division, De Anza Division. Here's a look at your standings and just by looking at that, you could tell this is a huge game for both teams tonight, Homestead has played one less game than St. Francis, only has one loss, and that would be to St. Francis. They lost 56-43 to back on January 19th. Uh, the rest of the league pretty much out of it, but Homestead trying to make a drive to get back into a tie for first place, a virtual tie for first place with St. Francis, basically because of the fact that they have played one less game 
in St. Francis. They would have two more games remaining where I believe the Lancers only have one more league game remaining after tonight's contest. They'll be at uh, Santa Clara next week and then they'll have a bye the final round and we'll then prepare for the playoffs. But a beautiful evening here tonight at Raskov Memorials. It's always beautiful when you're inside a gym on a winter night. And we'll be right back with the start of this contest. The introductions have been completed. The crowd has settled back into their seats for what is a hotly anticipated contest here at the Raskov tonight. Jump center, Homestead controls. This game is underway. St. Francis in a man to man. Pass from number 14, Mandy Wall. To number 10, Stephanie Malcolm. The only problem, Stephanie Malcolm out of bounds. There's Wade Nakamura, the head coach for Homestead High School. Homestead presses early. Ball tipped out of bounds by Sabrina Gauthier. Ball goes over to the Lancers. Or actually, Lancers maintain possession. Harassing press by Homestead. Stolen away late in by number 31, Tanya Green. Two to nothing. Homestead, a little trip from behind. The call will be made a little bit late as Kapuyan was tripped up. By number 14, Sabrina Gautier. It'll be side out for St. Francis. Two to nothing Homestead early here in the first quarter. Kapuya into Butterick looking inside to cause be tipped away and stolen. Tipped away by Tanya Green, recovered by Charlene Jarrett. Here comes Homestead. Driving the baseline, having the shot blocked is Mandy Wall. It goes out of bounds. Homestead will maintain possession. But good tough defense by the Lancers. Good weak side help by Kapuyan, I believe it was. Long cross-court pass. Shot up and in for number 34. Charlene Jarrett, her first two of the night. Four to nothing, Homestead. Lancers break the press there. Real nice ball movement to get the ball down court. Try to get the ball inside to Cosby. Kicks off of her leg out of bounds. As Knudsen tried to get the ball on a nice bounce pass into her. It was a little bit low. Went off the Cosby's leg out of bounds. Homestead with the ball. And now the Lancers with some half-court pressure of their own. Get the ball turned over. Kapuyan can't get that to drop. A nice pass by Knudsen. Almost a little mini alley-oop there that Kapuyan couldn't get to, to drop. Butterick with the tip. Butterick gets the ball back, goes inside to Kapuyan. Ball's bounced around, a whistle blows. I think we're gonna have a foul called. <laughs> 34, Charlene Jarrett, it's her first personal second team foul on Homestead. And a timeout called by Homestead. A break in the action. 6.24 to go in the first quarter. Four to nothing. Homestead. Mike DiCarlo and Steve Smith there in your picture. The coaching staff for the varsity here at St. Francis who have had an outstanding career here. Mike, the head coach. Steve is trusty assistant. Lanchers work the ball around Sobolik. Looks inside to cause, but she puts it up off the glass. Can't get it to drop. Might have been foul, but no call. Homestead comes out with the ball. Tipped away by Sobolik. She may have traveled and does. Tried to get control of it, could not. Homestead side out. Sobolik comes up to pressure. The Mustangs 
Rather methodical with the ball. They work it around pretty easily. Pass in a foul call. Looks like it might be on Knutson. We'll wait for the, yes it is. Make Knutson her first personal foul. Substitute for St. Francis. Jamie Val comes in for Betsy Butterick. 5.35 to go in the first quarter. Bounce pass right into the middle. Jump ball should have been called and finally is. Soblick got a hand in there on the ball and would not let go. Jump ball is called. The arrow's in the Lancer direction. Oh, nice deep court, court pass. And some, unable to convert, though, was Knutson as Knutson kind of gave a little... Little sign to Sobolik that she was going to break long, and Sobolik with an excellent pass down court. Knutson just unable to convert on it. Might have been better served trying to come in with the left hand on that than going right hand. And Sobolik on the inside, wheels and deals up and in. Alyssa Sobolik, her first two of the night, cuts the homestead lead in half. It's four to two. Knutson with pressure. Kapuyan also pressuring the ball. Ball inside. Foul called on Jamie Val. Now she was kind of reached in a little bit on Mandy Wall. Two team fouls apiece now. Inside us, fouled on the shot is 31, Tanya Green. Her second two of the night, she's got four. Quick math I do in my head, two and two, still four. Green will shoot one, trying to make a three point play here and push Homestead out to a five point lead. 4.55 to go here in the first quarter. Can't convert, rebound Sobolik. She gets it out quickly to Kapuyan, but a little wild. Fortunately, the Lancers able to recover as Kerry Cosby there playing safety comes up with the ball. Kapuyan with it with the bounce pass to Val. Back out to Kapuyan. Kapuyan for three, yes. Christine Kapuyan, her first three of the night. Her first points of the night, it's a 6-5 Homestead lead. Cross court wide open for two, off the glass. Not sure that was planned, but Stephanie Malcolm with a two. It's 8-5, stolen away by Mandy Wald from Kapuya. You don't see that happen very often, but the Lance come up with it. Val recovers, slides about five feet, no traveling call. Lancers maintain possession. Kapuyan weaves her way up court. Looks across to Val. Val fakes inside and then comes inside to Cosby. Back out to Val. Val with a fake. Comes in for the short jumper. Can't get it to drop. Rebound. Mustangs. Long cross court pass to Jarrett. Jarrett for three, off the glass, no. Foul called underneath. They jockey for position. Calls on, fouls on Meg Knutson. Knutson's second personal foul, and she may come out of the game now and does as Betsy Butterick re-enters. Eight to five, Homestead in the lead, 3.35 to go here in the first, nice and Quick pass inside, unable to hang on though as Mandy Wald Kapuyan comes out with it. Harassing Homestead defense, they tip it out of bounds. Lancers will maintain position, possession, excuse me. It's Homestead with been pressing the whole game so far and foul called as Alyssa Soblik hits the floor but comes right back up. Yeah. 
Jennifer Bow comes in in place of Jamie Val. Bow only a sophomore. Played varsity last year as a freshman, coming back from a shoulder injury. Soblick across to Butterick. Butterick for three. No, off the back iron. Tipped around. Homestead will come down with the ball. Butterick with her thumb taped up tonight. Not sure exactly what the extent of the injury is, but possibly just a jammed thumb or a slight sprain. She's a gamer. She's out there. Butterick, who was the most valuable player on the field hockey team. Homestead works the ball inside. Tanya Green converts. She's got six points on the night for Homestead. It's a 10-5 Homestead lead. Kapuyan comes up, casts up a three. No, this is badly off the glass. Lancers recover the ball. Jennifer Bow will slow it down and set up. Kapuyan for three again. Better look this time off the front iron. Rebound Homestead. And now a foul call as Mandy Wald came down with the ball. Looks like it's going to be on Sobolek. And it is. This foul substitutes for St. Francis. Colleen Harnett comes into the ball game for Kerry Cosby. Foul called against Butterick. Here in the first quarter, the officials calling a fairly tight game. 16 fouls on the Lancers already, so Homestead could possibly get into a bonus situation here in the first quarter. Shot by number 30, Bonnie Barrage, who's come in for Homestead. This is that. The ball is tipped out of bounds by the Lancers, though. Homestead will maintain possession. 2.03 to go in the first quarter. 10 to 5. Homestead in the lead. Mustangs work the ball around. Three attempt. Yes. Number 34, Charlene Jarrett. Her first three of the night. It's a 13 to 5. Homestead lead. Bo brings the floor up the sideline. Tries to dish it off to Colleen Harnett and a very poor pass by Jennifer Bow. You don't see that very often. And timeout called by Mike DiCarlo of breaking the action. 1.43 to go in the first. The Lancers trail 13 to 5. Homestead with the ball, working it down court. Stripped away by the Lancers, but recovered by Homestead. Oh my, a left-handed bank shot by Tanya Green. It's a 10-point lead. The Lancers again turn the ball over. And it's absolute pandemonium out here right now as the Lancers aren't looking at all like a 10-0 ball club. Homestead came out ready to play. They've been playing tough defense throughout and are disrupting the Lancer passing lines. Homestead protecting the ball. Trapping defense by the Lancers. Kapuyan reaches down and ties her up for the for the jump. Possession arrow faces Homestead. And a little question on the shot clock now, as I think Mike DiCarlo asked them to check. I believe on the shot clock. Three seconds to go on the shot clock because they had reset it and did that incorrectly. So Homestead with the ball will have to get a shot up very quickly. They look inside, traveling. Before, oh my, they're going to call the foul before the shot. They're going to call a push. Tanya Green will go to the line. The 
Calling it a one-on-one. -on -one. She was not in the act of shooting, which is a good call because she clearly was not. She was stumbling about traveling. And here were the foul call. She misses. Rebound. St. Francis. Now they battle for the ball. Sobolik tries to recover it. Valiant attempt, but she was out of bounds. And the frustration continues to build for St. Francis. They trail by 10. 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Not used to this happening on their home court. Quick whistle, a foul called on number 34. That's Charlene Jarrett. Last time these two teams met, Julia Randall was the leading scorer for Homestead. 28 points, she's not even in the game. And Homestead is leading by 10 points. Butterick, cross court to Bo. Bo's got an open shot. She drives in, dishes back out. Scramble for the ball. Kapuyan restores order. She comes in, puts it up, in and in. Christine Kapuyan. Driving the lane. A soft touch in, stolen away by Kapuyan. Up off the glass, yes! Kapuyan with sharp defense there, seven seconds to go. Three seconds to go in the quarter. Homestead should just hang on here. <laughs> Wade Nakamura saves the ball from going out of bounds, or catches it as it goes out of bounds. The Lancers will have a chance at a very, very quick shot here at the end of the quarter. Sobolik to Bobo's got to shoot too late. Up and in, but it won't count. As Bo has to get the ball and put it right back up. We are through one. The Lancers with a flurry at the end of the first quarter. Trail 15 to 9. Alyssa Soblick will inbound for the Lancers to start the second quarter of action. The Lancers trail 15 to 9, but they were down by 10 with less than a minute to go. And Finish the quarter with a flourish. Butterick to Soblik. Soblik works her way in there. Kind of wedges her way in. Puts up a shot. Can't get it to drop. She's fouled. She'll shoot two. Soblik with two points on the night. Has a chance to cut further into this Homestead lead. They currently lead by six. Noblik camps the first. Shot of some of the crowd here. Tokisha Meacham here to root her ex-teammates on. She's at Foothill College now. Misses his, Soblik misses the second. Bo comes out with it. Back inside to Soblik, up off the glass. Yes, Alyssa Soblik. Five points on the night now for Soblik, a three-point homestead lead. Homestead, ball down court, trying to save it. No, cannot do it. Ball goes out of bounds and over to the Lancers. St. Francis. Suddenly playing the way we anticipated them playing tonight. Have a chance to come down and actually tie this game up. If they could hit a three. Lancers basically back to their starting lineup with the exception of Kelly Thede is in the ball game. Now for St. Francis. Kapuyan for three. Yes, Christine Kapuyan, her second three of the night. She's got 10 points here in the first half. Heck, we're only a minute into the second quarter and she's got 10 points. A 15-15 tie, scramble for the ball. Thede steals it away. Gets it to Butterick. Better to Kapuya and to Cosby. Inside a feed, off of her hands, into the snack bar, over the popcorn. Oh my, it's pandemonium. The Lancers, who trailed by 10, nearly two minutes ago, have tied this up. Stolen away, bounce pass to Thede. Thede off the glass, yes. <laughs> Kelly Theater first two of the night, and a the Lancers take the lead for the first time tonight. The 
The Lancers currently on a 12-zip run. Lancers in the lead, 17 to five. Kelly Thede with the foul. Andy Wald will go to the line and shoot one and one. Suddenly someone has lit a fire under the Lancers. They miss a shot, Cosby tips. Lancers come out with it, Butterick controls. Bounce pass to Kapuya and here come the Lancers. Cosby from the free throw line, yes! Cosby's first two of the night. Homestead brings the ball up court as the Lancers begin to give more pressure in the backcourt. Inside a foul called again on the Lancers as Julia Randall is now in the game for Homestead. She sat out the entire first quarter. As we pointed out she scored 28 points the first time these two points, two, two points, these two teams met. I don't know if she sat out for disciplinary reasons or what, but she's now in the ball game for Homestead. Let's see how long it takes her to get warm as she misses the first free throw attempt. Got to respect Coach Wade Nakamura if he did keep Randall out because of disciplinary reasons in a game this big to go ahead and discipline your potentially your top player. Shows me a lot. Kapuyan for three. No. Can't even draw iron on that one. She tried to put it up. 19 to 15, the Lancers in the lead. 5.33 to go before halftime. Boy, the whistles are fast and furious here tonight. That'll be the 10th team foul, I believe, on St. Francis. So now they will shoot two. It's the... It'll be Julia Randall to shoot two. She hits the first. Melissa well, Soblik re-enters the game for Mate Knutson. Knutson has three fouls now. Not even a quarter and a half into the game yet, and she's picked up her third. Randall cans a second, and this is actually benefiting her as she's getting a chance to warm up on the free throw line and get her shooting touchdown. Two point Lancer lead. Sobolek to Can, to Kapuya. Butterick with a fake free throw line jumper. Can't get that to drop. It goes off the back glass, off the iron, and into the arms of Tanya Green. Cross court pass. Open is Jarrett. She takes a three. Can't get it to drop. Rebound Randall. She can't get that to drop. Now, imposing on the board is Homestead. As Randall gives him tremendous height underneath. They've tied this ball game up. Cosby from the free throw line gets it to drop. She's got four on the night and pushes the Lancers back into the lead. Homestead slow, bringing the ball up court, giving the Lancer defense a chance to react. No over and back call. Homestead with a difficult time getting the ball up court and not getting much help from her teammates. Will travel there, no call off the glass, can't get it to drop, scramble for the ball. Cosby comes up with it, gets it to Sobolik, she'll get it to Kapuya, and the Lancers will slow it down as the action here has been fast and furious over this last minute and a half. Sobolik with the ball. Kapuya into Cosby, Cosby with an open look from the baseline, can't get it to drop. Misses Long, rebound Homestead. Here come the Mustangs. Butterick applies pressure. Three attempt, yes! Count it for number 10, Stephanie Malcolm. She's got five on the night. Homestead retakes the lead, 22 to 21. Three and a half minutes to go before halftime. Tipped away underneath, Cosby comes up with it, puts up a shot. Can't get it to drop, no call. Scramble for the ball. And a foul called on Cosby, and she is irate, to say the least. 
It looked like she had tied her up for a jump ball and Crosby just besides herself, beside herself. Talking to herself all the way down court. Mike DiCarlo upset. Another quick look at it. See it inside to Cosby, tipped. Battle underneath, Cosby can't get it, stolen away. Then the reach for the jump ball, and for some reason they do call Cosby for the foul. Malcolm goes to the line, she will shoot two. Can't get it to drop Cosby with the rebound, bounce pass to Jennifer Bowes back in the ball game for the Lancers. She drives all the way down court, dishes outside to Butterick. Butterick steps back for a three, can't get it to drop. Battle underneath, Holly Can battling hard underneath. They tie up Malcolm. The possession arrow favors Homestead in that situation. The Mustangs will bring the ball up court. Cross court pass. Homestead not afraid to make that pass all the way across court. Kick out of bounds off of Soblick. Homestead will maintain possession. 22-21. Homestead in the lead. Christine Kapuyan re-enters. Place of Holly Kahn. Julia Randall, baseline jumper. For two, Sobelik drives inside, up off the glass, can't get it to drop, but a foul's gonna be called on Julia Randall. A 24 to 21 Homestead lead, as Julia Randall will be a force in this ball game. As we pointed out, she did not play in the first quarter. Since so coming in, she's got four points so far here in the second quarter. Melissa Soblik will shoot two. She can't get the first one to drop. Soblik one for three from the free throw line. So far tonight, she's got five points. Lancers trail by three. Soblik can't get either one to drop. Rebound Randall. Comes Homestead quickly down court. Stolen away by the Lancer. Sobla comes up with it as Butterick blocks the pass. Nice bounce pass to Kapuyan. Up and in! Excellent pass by Sobolek and Kapuyan converts. Another quick look at it. You see Sobolek. Excellent bounce pass to Kapuyan. Up and off the glass. She gets it to drop. Puglia to try to finish off the three-point play. She is successful, and we are tied up at 24. 2.21 to go before the half. So far, this ball game is all it was cracked up to be. Three-point attempt by Godier. She can't get it to drop. Crosby with the board. Jennifer Bow quickly up court to Butterick. And an errant pass again by Boa. She led Butterick just a tad bit too much. Turns the ball over to Homestead and the Lancers now with the press. Homestead breaks the press. Now works the ball around. Homestead very patient. Driving baseline, up with the reverse, and fouled is number 31, Tanya Green. As we pointed out earlier, the officials calling a very, very tight ball game so far. Foul is on Kerry Cosby. That's her third personal with a minute and a half to go here in the second quarter. So a couple of Lancers now in foul trouble. Knutson and Cosby. We'll always see if Cosby's going to come out. First free throw is missed by Green. Cosby will exit the game. Re-entering is Colleen Harnett. Betsy Budrick also leaves the game. Jamie Val checks back in. 
Connie Green 0 for 3 from the free throw line so far tonight. And 0 for 4, tipped around. Coming up with it is Sobelik. She pulls it away. Jump ball called. DiCarlo wants a foul call. And DiCarlo getting quite incensed and bordering now on he better be careful. He can get a technical call here anytime. Mike usually pretty mild mannered, but he's not at all happy with the officiating so far tonight. That ball partially blocked by Homestead. They'll bring the ball up the other way. No pressure this time by the Lancers. Val just incredibly aggressive. Kapuyan steals up at the left. No! Can't get it to drop. Tipped around. Homestead comes away with his Kapuyan had a breakaway, went with the left hand and could not get it to drop. Kapuyan aggressive again, anticipating that pass, couldn't come up with it. Three attempt, up and in. Check it, they're gonna make it a two. It's gonna a two point attempt. Godier with her first two of the night. It's a two point homestead lead. Jennifer Bow slashing into the middle, up and off the glass. Jennifer Bow, her first two of the night. Tied at 26, 22 seconds to go in the half. Shot clock is off. Homestead works the ball around. They've got time, eight seconds to go. Driving baseline, lowering the shoulder, tipped out of bounds. Homestead will maintain possession as Tanya Green lowered the shoulder. Then anticipate them possibly going to Randall, a big figure out there, but now they're setting the screen. They do try to get it to Randall. It's tipped out of bounds again, 2.6 seconds to go in the half. Tied up at 26. Quickly in bounce, Homestead running out of time. It will not count, it's waved off as Homestead and Mandy Walt could not get a shot up before time expired. We are at halftime and we are all tied up at 26. Twenty-six all as we get ready to start the third quarter, and it, as we told you earlier, it's senior night here at St. Francis High School, a tradition, and I guess before and after shots. Alyssa Sobolik, Jamie Val, baby pictures, and how they currently look, and my how they can change in 17 or 18 years. Christine Kapuyan, Kerry Cosby, and Meg Knutson, and you gotta love the bonnet on Meg. Betsy Butterick. All the seniors for St. Francis here tonight as you see them breaking the huddle in preparation for the third quarter. Clock counts down and halftime buzzer sounds. And alerting the masses at halftime is officially over. Homestead will have possession to begin the third quarter. Once again, as we have said, we are all tied up here at the Raskob. Randall once again on the bench for Homestead. And now I'm wondering if maybe it's uh, illness or something like that as to why she's not playing, but like we pointed out earlier, she had 28 points for them in the first meeting of these two teams. And now to start the second half, she's also on the bench. Butterick for three, yes! Betsy Butterick, her first point of the night. And it's a big three. A three point St. Francis lead here to start the third quarter now. Mustangs working the ball around the perimeter. Kuyan tries to steal the ball, knocks number 30, Bonnie Barrage, off balance. And she had kept her balance. I don't think the foul would have been called, but once she lost her balance, they had to give the foul to Kapuyan. And the Lancers went, got into foul trouble very, very early in the first half, and 
They pick up their first team foul of the second half here in the first minute. Tipped by Butterick. They had it briefly. It's stolen back by Tanya Green. Green with 10 points on the night for Homestead. She's their leading scorer. Driving in, putting it up, blocked! By Harnett, as Harnett's in and plays to Cosby. Cosby, as we pointed out, with three fouls is on the bench, as is Meg Knutson. Both of them with three fouls. They've got to be very careful with how they use them here in the second half. Kapuyan drives. She's fouled. It counts. Another look at it. Kapuyan drives, dishes it up and off the glass. Great use of the backboard by Christine. She will go for her second three-point play of the night. She drops it, she's two for two from the line. She's got 16 of the 32 St. Francis points. Way off. Shot by Stephanie Malcolm, rebound to the Lancers. Here comes Kapuyan again, she dishes off to Sobolik. Sobolik, yes! Alyssa Sobolik, she's got seven on the night. The Lancers open up an eight-point lead here to start the third quarter. And if Julia Randall is at all healthy for Homestead, they need to get her into the ball game. Soft jumper by Malcolm. She can't get it to drop. Rebound St. Francis. And they could go up double digits with the score here. Butterick in the corner. She'll drive in and off the glass. Can't get it to drop. Nice rebound and put back by Harnett again. And no foul called. Everybody up and pointing. Everybody saw a foul except for the gentleman in the striped shirts. Butterick hounds. Aaron pass cross court by number 14, Sabrina Gautier. Timeout, Homestead. And not a moment too soon as St. Francis comes out fired up here to start the third quarter. We've got 5.21 to go in the third. The Lancers in the lead, 34-26. St. Francis ball, 5.21 to go. Alyssa Soblick waits to get the ball and they're gonna move a gentleman back off of the court in a wheelchair. They don't want him to get run over or perhaps they don't want him to run over somebody. Gentlemen here enjoying tonight's action. Lancers work the ball around court. Arnett can't hang on. <laughs> Kicking and shoving and pushing, and Homestead comes out with the ball. It's here in the second half. Now it seems like the referees are taking it easy on their whistles. They almost wore them out in the first half. Driving up for the reverse layup and in is Charlene Jarrett. She's got seven on the night. Cuts into the Lancer lead. It's now a six point. St. Francis lead, 4.44 to go. Oh, nice pass into Sobolik. She's blocked by the rim, but Harnett rebounds, puts it up, can't get it to drop. Up between the legs to Val Butterick with the ball. She goes back into three-point land. And will dish it around Christine Kapuyan from way outside. Oh, my. Kapuyan is feeling it tonight. That was an NBA three-point attempt she took there. Aaron pass again, unable to handle it as Homestead. Lancers get the ball. Butterick on the outside, back out to Selblick to Capri. Green for three again. No, not that time. Rebound Homestead. Julia Randall waiting to check in for Homestead, but he just can't seem to get a break in the action right now to get her into the ball game. This is the biggest Lancer lead so far tonight. Substitutes waiting also to come in for the Lancers. Inside a push is going to be called on Harnett. Breaking the actual, waiting for the subs to come in. They're going to let them all come in as Jennifer Bowe comes in. Cosby comes in. Harnett and Val exit.
Tipped away by the Lancer. Sobolik out to Bo. Bo tries to drive it. She comes all the way in, and they're going to call a push against Homestead. Meg Knutson's going to re-enter also. So Knutson and Cosby both in now, both with three fouls. Knutson in for Sobolik. Long pass into Kapuyan. Gets it out to Bo. Butterick, Butterick just inside the three point line. Can't get that one to drop. Scrambling for it is Kapuyan. She can't come up with it. The ball goes over to Homestead. 3.22 to go in the third. A 37 28 St. Francis lead. They lead by nine as their biggest lead of the night. Long three attempt, can't get it to drop it. Randall underneath puts it up and in as Jarrett couldn't get it to drop. A good positioning by Randall. Butterick drives baseline, dishes it up and underneath, can't get it to drop. Randall scrambles for it. Foul's going to be called on Butterick, and she's hurt that thumb again as she comes out flexing it, and it's not feeling good at all right now, but she will not grin and bear it, she'll frown and bear it. that Butterick hurt her hand actually last week during practice, hurt her thumb. Aaron pass again by the Mustangs. It goes out of bounds and Wade Nakamura not at all happy with his troops right now. In this first quarter they had opened up a 10 point lead and they now trail by seven here in the third. Jennifer Bow fakes, dishes off to Cosby. She can't get it to drop. Rebound to Malcolm Homestead takes their time, bringing the ball up court. Open three on its way, no. Rebound Homestead as Wald comes out with it. Short jumper, oh, in and out. Randall with the ball, she can't get it to drop. A mad scramble for the ball, the Lancers come out with it. As Green couldn't get it to drop, Randall couldn't get it to drop for Homestead. Timeout called by Mike DiCarlo and the St. Francis Lancers. 1.56 to go in the third quarter. St. Francis in the lead, 37 to 30. A police presence here tonight at Rascal Memorial. On the right, Lancer alumni Jim O'Malley, who is a uh, football and track great here at St. Francis. Now a Mountain View police officer here for tonight's ball game. Bow for three, partially blocked. Can't get it to drop. Homestead, it comes up with the ball. Homestead trails by seven. They try to climb back into this ball game. Homestead eight and one on the season. St. Francis, 10 and 0. Long cross court pass to Randall. They get hurt, twisting and turning in the wind, and she can't come up with it. Cosby will inbound to Kapuyan. The Lancers will look to extend the lead. A minute 25 to go here in the third quarter. Oh, Kapuyan, no look to Cosby, to Bo. Bo brings it around the perimeter. Back to Kapuyan. Lancers very patient right now. They got a seven point lead and the ball. Inside, Knutson. Yes! Make Knudsen her first two of the night. Two point attempt on the way, unable to get it to drop is Mandy Wald. Jennifer Bow with the rebound brings it down court dishes to Knudsen. Yes! Quickly, Knudsen, two in a row. It's an 11 point St. Francis lead, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Julia Randall brings it up, she stops, looks for help. Lancers now swarming on defense as they can smell blood in the water. 
and they are like sharks after that ball. Foul called on number 22, Meg Knutson. That's her fourth foul. And they see an exit of Knutson again. We do. Alyssa Sobolik re-enters. Outstanding defense by the Lancers here in the third quarter, holding Homestead to four points. Thirteen seconds to go. Randall unable to handle the ball, and it's not tipped off of the Lancers. Randall, who tips the ball out of bounds, the ball goes over to the Lancers. We are under ten seconds to go. Kapuyan. Wheels of deals, dishes off and hit a nice shot there by number 21, Kelly Thee. She hits the two. The third quarter ends. It's a 43 to 30 St. Francis lead. Fourth quarter action. Alyssa Soblick inbounds to Kapuyan. We are underway as. The Homestead crowd on the far side hoping the Mustangs can climb back into this ball game. Jennifer Bow to Kapuyan, back to Bow. Bow wide open, three attempt, can't get it to drop. Scramble for the ball, Homestead comes up with it. Tony Green brings it up court. A lot of pushing and shoving underneath. The foul's going to be called, it appears, on Kelly Thede. It is. Third foul on feed, 15 foul for St. Francis. Underneath, nice pass there. Charlene Jarrett scores, cuts the lead to 11. These two teams have had quite a rivalry. Played for the Division II CCS Championship last year, did St. Francis and Homestead. Homestead winning in overtime. Oh, Jennifer Bow with a nice drive. Might have been tipped a little bit by Randall. Out with the ball comes Homestead. Jump ball called, but the arrow points in Homestead's direction. Julia Randall, ooh, uh, almost a backcourt there. Three-point attempt, yes! By number 34, Charlene Jarrett. She's got 12 points now for Homestead. Homestead pulls to within eight. So they're hanging around, six and a half to go. Kapuyan for three, no, off back iron. Soblick rebound, slashes inside. Can't get it to drop, but she draws the foul. A good move by Alyssa Soblick. Knowing that if she didn't make the shot, pretty good chance she was going to get hammered, and she was. Better look at it. You see a long rebound by Sobolik. She will shoot two. Can't get the first to drop. She's one for four from the line tonight. We'll shoot the second. Can't get that to drop either. Rebound, Homestead. Let's see Butterick. It's a little pressure on the ball, but she's the only one back there, so Homestead gets the ball up court fairly easily. Nice dribble drive up, a scoop shot that she's fouled on as Tanya Green goes to the hoop. Tanya with 10 points right now for Homestead. She'll shoot two. Fouls on Kapuyan. Her third personal. So several key Lancers in a little bit of foul trouble, but with three fouls here in the fourth quarter, it's not quite as big as it would have been earlier in the game. Tony Green misses the first. Tony Green is 0 for 5 from the free throw line tonight. And those five points would certainly make a big, big difference in this ball game right now. Can't get that one to drop either. 
She is 0 for 6 from the line. Homestead trails by 8. So those six free throws looming large for Homestead. Kapuyan probes the Homestead defense. Butterick takes the screen by Cosby, drives a hoop up and can't get it to drop off the back iron. Homestead comes down with it. They'll bring it up court. Up ahead to Wald. Wald will take the shot. She'll be fouled. Foul looks like it'll be maybe on Cosby. It is. I believe that'll be her fourth. Yes, it is. So Cosby within a foul of fouling out. Bald will shoot two. She's 0 for 1 from the line so far tonight. She is 0 for 2. Homestead is 2 for 13 from the free throw line tonight. And that tells a lot about how this game is going right now. They trail by 8. They have missed 11 free throws. Wald gets a second one to drop. They are 3 for 13 from the line. 43-36, a 7-point. St. Francis lead. Christine Capuyan takes her time bringing the ball up court. Capuyan tries to get it inside. Stolen away by Green. Green will bring the ball up court. Gets it to Malcolm. Tipped away and into the snack bar. This time quickly retrieved. Before it could do any damage inside. Mario Gazzalva is here tonight. Flirting as always. Ah. Two point shot by Randall. It's a five point St. Francis lead. 5.09 to go. Homestead creeping back into this ball game. Val with a shot off the glass, too hard. Rebound, Butterick. Butterick brings it back out. Kapuyan will set up, and St. Francis being patient as they should be right now. Kapuyan drives in up. And, oh, in and out. Rebound, Homestead. Tipped away. Homestead able to maintain control as Tanya Green comes down with it. Gets it out to Jarrett. Jarrett being hounded by Butterick, now by Sobolik. They try to get it into Randall, tipped away. Jamie Val out with it. Butterick can't hang on to it. Malcolm comes up with it. Back to Green, and now a quick timeout called by Homestead. A break in the action, 427 to go here in the fourth quarter. St. Francis in the lead, 43-38. to Future high school basketball players taking in tonight's action and doing a little videotaping. Somebody's sister, I would anticipate. Homestead with the ball, long three attempt, high Archie three. Would have been pretty if it went. Homestead rebounds. Green with the ball. Oh, nice dish off coming in off the glass. Oh, foul by Colleen Harnett. Slashing to the hoop is Mandy Wall. Another look at it. Nice pass by Wall, or to Wall by Green. Wald will shoot two. And referee wants to chat with both teams about taking their positions a little bit quicker. Around the key as they shoot the free throws. Wald one for three. One for four. As the Homestead woes at the free throw line continue. Free throws are looming large for Homestead this evening. Can't get that to drop either. Melissa Sobolik with the rebound. Kapuya into Sobolik to Butterick. Or check that, that was to Val. Butterick with the ball now. 
Kapuyan. Under four minutes to go now. Kapuyan casts up a three, in and out. Rebound walled. Comes Homestead. She can't touch the ball. Kapuyan in on it. They scramble for the ball. and Kapuyan comes out as Jarrett lands hard on top of Kapuyan. Little chatter amongst the ladies, and Christine Kapuyan okay. She shakes it off. Ball will go to St. Francis as Sobolik. Lindbaum substitutions for St. Francis. Cosby and Knutson re enter. Both with four fouls. They've got to be a little careful. Five point lead for St. Francis. Good move by DiCarlo at this point in time, though. Scramble for the ball, and a jump is called. Arrow facing in St. Francis's favor. Homestead has rattled off eight in a row before Kapuyan answers right there with a three. Pushes the lead back to eight points for St. Francis. Homestead going to have to play with a little bit of a sense of urgency now as they need to score in a hurry. Underneath a push is called as Julia Randall with maybe a little bit of acting underneath there too. She did a good job getting the referee's attention. Kapuyan called for the foul. It's her fourth personal, so now three Lancers with four fouls, and they're going to stay on the, on the floor. As Julia Randall goes to the free throw line, she is two for three on the night. Three for four, so she is the only Mustang who is cons consistently making her free throws. A seven point lead, a six point lead, 46 to 40. Randall cans them both. Sobolik to Cosby. Butterick. Timeout called by St. Francis. 3.09 to go here in the fourth quarter. Lancers in the lead, 46 40. A couple of youngsters enjoying tonight's ball game. This has been a very good game. Lancers with the ball and the lead. Three minutes to go in this ball game. The Lancers trying to keep most of their starters in the game as they're in foul trouble. Double look at the ball, goes inside, up, can't get it to drop. Battle underneath for the ball, off of Cosby. They're going to award the ball to uh, St. Francis. It looked like it went off Cosby's forehead, but they're going to say it went off a Homestead player after that. Give the ball to the Lancers. Double look to rebound, and now a foul called. And the foul is going to be on Butter. Check that on. Knutson, I believe. I believe that'll be her fourth foul. I mean, fifth foul. She is out of the game on fouls, and it's also the tenth team foul against St. Francis, as they have been hit hard with fouls tonight. Jennifer Bow will check in, it appears, for Meg Knutson, who was fouled out with 2.50 to go, and going to the line for Homestead will be Charlene Jarrett. She has not been there tonight. She has 12 points on the night. Leading scorer in the game between both teams is Christine Kapuyan with 22 of the 46 St. Francis points. Jarrett at the line for the first time tonight, as we said earlier, she'll be shooting two. Other than Julia Randall, Homestead just can't seem to make their free throws. And they are looming huge in tonight's ballgame. Cam's the second. Kapuyan with the ball, Homestead presses. They are not 
anywhere near the penalty, so they may want to take a foul here just to go ahead and have the opportunity to put St. Francis at the free throw line. Scrambles for the ball. St. Francis keeps coming up with it. Papuyan drives. Cast up a shot. Can't get it to drop. Tipped out of bounds by Cosby. Lakota Homestead. Cosby feeling that she was fouled by Homestead over the back. No call. Two fifteen to go in the ball game. A five point St. Francis lead as Homestead is really cut into the St. Francis lead, but hasn't been able to get closer than five points. Open look on a two-pointer, yes, by Stephanie Malcolm. It's a three-point St. Francis lead with two of their starters, Cosby and Kapuyan in foul trouble. Bell travels, no call. Kapuyan looks for the three, can't get it to drop. Battle underneath, Sobolik comes up with it, goes up, she's fouled. Alyssa Sobolik, very smart move there as she got underneath and went right back up strong with the ball. She will shoot two. Good strategic foul almost on the part of Homestead. Sobolik one for five from the line tonight. Breaks the ice there yet again, just two for six. As she had missed four in a row. A four point Lancer lead. Can't get that to drop. Rebound by Randall. Homestead has the ball a minute and a half to go. They trail by four. Butterick, nice trail, almost stole the ball away. Three point on the way by Jarrett, no. Rebound underneath, no call. Underneath Jarrett again, can't get it to go. Rebound by Godier. And a traveling call. It looked like Coffey was gonna get dinged for a foul, but no call there. Open deep is Budrick, they don't see her. Sobolik with the ball, gets it to Bo. They're gonna have to foul here to get the ball back. There's only a minute 15 to go in the game. Tipped away and out of bounds, it's gonna go to St. Francis. Cosby with a dive for the ball. 1.11 to go, Homestead's gonna need to foul. They only have five team fouls. They gotta get to seven to get St. Francis to the line. Timeout called St. Francis. A minute 10 to go in the ball game. They lead 47-43. Look at the scoreboard. Lancers lead by four, but the team foul situation. 10 for St. Francis, only five for Homestead. But right now, Homestead probably wishing they had one more team foul so they could get St. Francis to the free throw line as they can run some time off the clock here. Sobolik with the ball. Answers the four-point lead. Butterick for three. This could be huge. No, can't get it to drop. Gets her own rebound. A fresh shot clock. Homestead has to foul. They have to foul, and they're not coming out to do it. Now they do. As Malcolm comes out and fouls Kapuyan, and they're going to need to do that again, but I'm not sure Christine Kapuyan's the one you want to foul. 49.9 to go in the game. Mandy Wall checks back in for Homestead. Comes in for Sabrina Gautier. They're not taking the foul again, and they need to get them to the free throw line. They're going to call a foul on Tanya Green. She'll send Betsy Butterick to the line. Butterick with only three points tonight. It was a three-pointer. She has not been to the free throw line tonight. She'll shoot one and one. 44 seconds to go and a four point St. Francis lead. Butterick shooting one and one. Can't get it to drop. Tipped around and oh, a foul over the back. It's going to be called on Cosby and that's going to do it for Cosby. As two Lancers have fouled out now. But with 43 seconds to go, you got to hope that the Lancers can hang on. It's the It'll be a two free throw attempt by Homestead on the over the back call. I'm trying to determine who it is that's going to go to the free throw line. I believe it's Tanya Green. As Mike DiCarlo, there's a shot of Kerry Cosby who's done for the evening and not at all happy about it. I can't blame her. She's a senior. It's 
last regular season home game. She's had a great career here at St. Francis. And it's not over because they certainly have the playoffs coming up. But she is still uh, visibly upset about those calls. Actually, it will be Julia Randall going to the line. I didn't know it was her that had been fouled, and I'm not sure it really was her that was fouled, but nobody's saying anything. I, I could definitely be wrong on that. There's 43 seconds to go. She will shoot two. She cans the first. That's huge. It's a three-point St. Francis lead, and this is not who you want at the free throw line for Homestead, as she is five for six for seven from the free throw line. Kapuin with the ball, and she should just keep it because that's not, that's who you want at the free throw line. I would foul Bo right now and get her to the free throw line. You don't want to foul Kapuya. It's a two-point St. Francis lead, and Homestead in no hurry. Try to get the ball back. Butterick, Kapuyan for three. Ball game! Kapuyan for money. I'm not sure why Homestead didn't foul Bo when they had the chance. A huge three by Christine Kapui and Homestead comes down uncontested layup they can't get it to drop Jennifer Bo comes out with it and put a fork in it this game is over Kapui and is fouled very very late with point four to go on the scoreboard but this ball game is over as Christine Kapui hits a huge three pointer and the Lancers will go to 11-0 on the league campaign. On a game that they started out playing basically very shoddy as Homestead took it to him defensively. Kapuyan cans the first one, 50 to 45. Another look at it, Kapuyan with ice water in her veins. She'll shoot the second free throw here. She cans that. She finishes with 27 points, more than half of the St. Francis points on the night. And that'll do it. As Homestead came in and had every opportunity to go ahead and, and really have an upset here at Raskob Memorial, but other than Julia Randall making six out of seven free throws, the rest of the Homestead Mustangs could only make two free throws on the night and missed 13. And that is the story of your ball game there as both teams shake hands following this contest. It was a hard-fought game by both teams. A very, very good basketball game. And our congratulations to Mike DiCarlo as he has now wrapped up the regular season title here in the SCVAL with a excellent, excellent victory for the Lancers. That'll do it for us here at the Raskob Memorial. For all of us here with KMVT, our producer director, Lazarus Sargenides, and our crack camera crew of Brent Stone, Robin Frank, and Shelly Louie. It's been our absolute pleasure to bring this game to you. Our thanks to the St. Francis Athletic Department and the Homestead Athletic Department. For everybody here at KMVT, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.